Hello, today we're going to be dealing with widgets, specifically the part where you want to get data in a widget and back out again. Like from Say for example you have clicked on a button, or you want to get a string from the first person character blueprint to the widget. Sounds easy enough. I'm going to show you how to do it using interfaces rather than casting. The advantage is that you're not loading entire blueprints into the into memory when you do it, and yeah, it's just it's better. Plus, it gives you your code, if you want to call it that, more portability. So you can then take that widget, move it into another into another project, and with a few minor changes, have it working again in short order. So let's get started with this. So, we are going to need a couple of things. One of them, we're going to need an interface, obviously, which we're going to call STD, and we're going to come back to that in a minute. We're going to create the blueprint widget thing, like so, and we're just going to call this test, because I can't think of anything else to call it. And it literally is just an example test. So first things first, just line those up on that, we're going to go into the widget blueprint and we're going to make one, make something really quickly just to show how it works. So we're going to drag a canvas panel over and this is what gives you the ability to place whatever you want around, there's nothing too special about that. We're going to put a button down. I'm going to make it a bigger button. This is what we're going to use to demonstrate getting text or getting a piece of data from the widget to the main blueprint. And next up, we're going to use just a simple text box, little static text thing to show getting data from the first person blueprint to the widget. So it's just very basic input output thing. And this is, yeah, a lot of people seem to struggle with this. So testing compile. Now if we hit play, nothing's going to happen because we're not really doing anything, but it's nothing's going to show up by default. So the first thing we need to do is get the, get the widget to show up at all first. Now we're going to do this through begin play. Hopefully, yep, we can read that. What we're going to do is we're going to create the widget. We're going to get the player controller and attach that to there. So that's what we should be. Starting with there, we're going to add test to the class bit there, so that works fine. We're going to promote that to a variable because this we're going to need this. This is what we execute the interface functions on. We're just going to give it a name, so let's give it test widget. Original. Now, we're still not going to get anything, but what we've done is we've created this in memory. We need to add this to the view, um, add this to the viewport. Like so. And then what we need to do is we need to set it to visible. Like so. Now, I'm going to leave some space here and that's just for later on because we need to do something so we hit compile we hit save and we hit play we have a button button on the screen and we have our text block up here so what i'll do first is i'll show you how to get so i'll make the 
interface, which is what we need. Which is here. So we're going to need a couple of functions, mainly two. Now the first one we're going to make is pass string. And our input is going to be a string. Blindingly original. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another function. And this one's going to be called pass ref. Now, what we need to do, we're going to set this to an object. Object reference. I'm going to call this obj. And there's a very sane reason for this. This is where some people will object and say it's a terrible idea. And then there's going to be equally as many people that says this is a wonderful idea. This works well because if it doesn't, if the widget doesn't execute this at all, that's fine. Nothing's going to happen. It won't throw an error. Nothing will happen. It will be fine. In here, in the widget, where it's going to be implemented, which we need to now implement the this whole interface, you go to the widget, go to class settings. I don't know why it's on why my details panel is on the right, but so on the left, but this is a bit more standard. Where's the mm, oh here's the content drawer. Yeah. Okay. We need to add the interface, which is STD. Now, if you don't know anything about interfaces, there's a lot of YouTube tutorials on this that show it. I suggest going and watching a few of them. I'm probably not going to make one because it's been done a million times, but this is what we need. We need to implement both of these events like this. And what we forgot to do was make that a variable. And we'll just text display. So we've given that a name. It comes under the variable of text display, the two Ps. Okay, and there it is right there. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we need to go to the pass, uh, event pass ref. And we're just going to promote that to a variable. And we're going to call this main bp we don't need to do anything to it for now under pass string what we're going to do is we're going to get the text display get it and then we're simply just passing that string onto the the text and you do that via set text we we'll just put that in there, and there's going to be some conversion. doesn't really matter. Okay. And that's what we need at the moment. So we've implemented that interface on the widget. So this is where this, remember how we did this? This is where we're going to actually pass the, do the, do the business actually pass the data. So what we're going to do is we're going to get tick, the event tick, and we're going to get that test widget, and we're going to execute pass string against that. So we're going to pass string. Now you want the one that says message attached to it. It says there, message, this does nothing if target does not implement the required interface. Fair enough. Right. So there's that. Now, this value here is a very small value and it just changes every frame. And this is what we want. We want to actually do something like We want to use that just to demonstrate. So we're going to put that into there. It'll convert it and it'll be done. So what we can now do, hit play, and there we go. That's the delta seconds from the tick event passing through 
that interface which is attached to the test, test widget, which we, we implemented it in the test widget. So that comes through here and takes the test display and just sets the text. Now, the other way it's normally done, I'm not going to do the whole thing, I'm just going to show you, is it's done through this. There's a bind. You can actually create a binding and it is where the, normally the casting is. Now, you can use the interface thing here. You can actually execute like a another function that says that say for example gets a variable and just returns it you can do it through here if you really want to but there's no point and i think the general advice is not to anymore so we'll go back to that delete the binding wherever it's gone hang on here it is remove binding okay so that'll Go back to working there. So now the button. How do we deal with the button? Well, it's very easy. Click on the button, go down to on clicked. Or you can use any other event, doesn't matter, but we're going to use on clicked. Now, remember how we passed this, how we did this before? What we need to do is we need to get the reference for the main blueprint, which is this one this main blueprint and this is why we left this here before what we're going to do is we're going to off the test widget reference we're going to use that interface that we made or the interface function we made called pass ref and that's it there what we're going to do is we're going to pass a reference to self And by self, it means the blueprint that this node sits on. So there you go. It's going to pass a reference to itself. Now, we're doing this because when we click on this button, we want to execute a function on the first person character on the main blueprint here. So for example, you have some code here and it actually does there is a reason for there is a there is a reason to do this say for example you want to spawn an object you're better off actually doing it in the first person character because if you do it in the widget you can actually cause the engine to crash it's a known thing that not very many people seem to know about but it 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 is it's there so for example um can just create a function or I can just go into class settings and we can implement the interface as well which is normally what I do and the reason for it is because if you take this widget and you move it to another project if you keep the interface there you can it makes the code a bit more portable rather than just executing a function directly and so what we're going to do, where are we? Class settings, we want to implement STD. Why are we not working? Hang on. Oh, we already have. Okay, sweet. Interfaces. Now we want to get the pass string one and all we're going to do is just print it on the screen. There we go. And make it a, that'll do. That's, that's all the color we need. I might make this five though, so it stays there longer. So we're going to take that main blueprint reference and we're going to do pass string on it. It would help if I can type string. Okay. 
and we're going to send it a message. Say hello from test widget. I stole your reference. Well, it didn't really, but I just had to put something there. Okay. Compile, save, hit play. We've got the data coming from the tick event and it's ending up in there. And this, by the way, is very performant. It's actually pretty good. And here's our button. And there we go. That's the basics of how you get data in and out of a widget using an interface with absolutely no casting and no binding stuff. You can also pass other things like variables and object references to actual objects and things like that too. But yeah, it's very flexible and works quite well. You can also pass, you can also use the same method to pass things to actors and from actors and stuff like that. So you can actually have an actor that's directly talking to this widget as well. So it's, yeah, it is what it is. And that's pretty much it. Um,